Welcome, in front of me is a Qbot P50 and today I'll show you how you can bypass the Google verification on this phone. So to get started, we will need one thing, which is a SIM card. Uh, I have one right over here and it just needs to have some kind of contacts on it. It doesn't really matter if that contact is real or not, we just need a contact. Now. Uh, to move over to the phone, you can obviously see that the phone I have right in front of me is locked and I could basically unlock it providing the previously used pattern or using the Google account instead. But because we don't know it, we're just going to bypass this. So let's take off the cover. Let's insert the SIM card. I did not, there we go, confirm the pen, there we go, so let's confirm it. I'm gonna now back out to the first page. Uh, now before you actually start this, I do have one more thing that I need to do. So you need to connect to Wi-Fi network. So just progress through the setup till you get to, to the network connection page. There we go. Uh, connect to some kind of network and then back out here. So from here, ready to begin, you want to select the emergency call, emergency information, tap on it twice, then you're going to select the edit button, add contact, and this will display all the contacts on your SIM card. Now if you don't see any kind of contacts, uh, even though you have some, just give it a moment, sometimes it takes it a while for it to uh, load the contacts, especially when the device is freshly uh, reset it. It does a bunch of things in the background, so it takes uh, the SIM card, well, it's not pro prioritizing it, so it will take it a little bit longer to load the contacts. But once it does, you can then select some kind of contact. There we go. Can I tap on it? Can I select the text message? There we go. And in here, you want to type in youtube.com and send it. Now I will mention again, uh, the SIM card does not need to work. This card that I have right here does not function. It has no services, but even though I can send it, it will send it, but it just never will deliver it. As you can see, waiting for con uh, connection, it just won't send it, but it's already here. So we can now tap on the link that we have created. From here, click on the account icon and then we're gonna go into settings about Google privacy policy accept and continue and no thanks give it a moment and once you have access to your browser right at the top you want to type hard reset.info slash bypass I'm gonna type it in myself and if you need a moment to copy it once you see it do pause the video So now would be the time to pause. Now, from here, you're gonna scroll down and you'll find settings application. Press on it, navigate to apps and notifications and select see all 30 apps or however many it tells you that you have and tap on it three dots select show system and from here we're gonna now start off with Android setup so you have one right here I'm gonna select for stop okay then go back next thing you want to do is scroll down to Google Play services there we go here you want to select disable and then disable up and again also for st for stop i do recommend muting this this is obnoxiously loud and we're gonna hear it several more times so yeah now once you have disabled the google play services we're now going to go back to 
to the beginning of the setup, so just start spamming that bug button. There we go. And now we can just go through the setup. Now, because we have connected to network, it kind of skips this page and goes automatically for checking for whatever. So just go back and you should see the connected to Wi-Fi and you want to select setup offline. And uh, continue. Let me quickly make sure I'm doing everything right. Okay, so yeah, I'm doing everything right, though there is apparently a little caveat to this from what I'm reading, so you might not have the option to set it up offline. If that is the case, you will need to basically back out again to the beginning emergency information, emergency, uh, or the edit button, and then again send the link or open the link. And we basically would need to do... So basically you would go back and re-enable the Google Play services. Unless I have to do this. Oh, no, never mind. I guess I have to do this. So... Guess I'm gonna go back here. Can emergency. Emergency info. Now I am a little bit uh, right now lost with this because this is probably the first time I'm doing it this way so this method for me is a little bit new so bear with me while I'm, I guess kind of trying to do this so we're gonna go I oh, nope not what I wanted so edit Guess I'm gonna enable it. So we do enable the Google Play services and now we're gonna back out again. There we go. So once you see the copy ops and data, you want to back into here. And it looks like it didn't work for me. So normally, uh, apparently what should happen is we should have a button uh, allowing us to set up offline like we did before, but I don't have it. I think I know why. So I'm gonna again retrace my steps. So I think I went uh, one step too far. When it when I pressed the don't copy, I think I already messed it up. So I'm gonna try to fix it up quickly. No, not what I wanted to press.
Okay, so I basically retraced the steps and I'm gonna now try it again. So I did disable everything and now next step is to repeat everything that we just, or which I just did. And again, so hopefully this time around it will will go correctly. So here is where I should be. So copy up some data, don't copy, go back. And there was my problem. So now we can select set up offline, continue. And we can finish up the setup. So I did make a mistake before, like you've seen and uh, Basically, if you went with me by selecting don't copy, you do need to repeat everything that I did. So that just kind of starts off from the beginning, do everything that you did. And then once you press the start button and get to the copy apps and data select, uh, you don't want to select anything, uh, just go back. And you will have the option to set it up offline. Now from here, you will then go to settings. I'm gonna scroll down to system advanced reset options erase all data erase all data and you want to press on that button once again now this will ensure that the device uh, gets rid of all the protection that is still on this device of so the google account and pin pattern password that was previously used is still technically on this phone we just bypass this at the moment now by selecting erase all data this gets completely removed so you do want to press this. I'm not gonna go through this on the video just because it's a simple fact to reset out the device. Shows you really nothing, just a lot of black screen or text. And from there, you're back in the setup screen, at which point you can set up your phone however you want. So anyway, with that being said, if you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.